Hi everybody, this is Sheila Mayfield with Actus Audio on a little tutorial to show you how to create a customized um, QR code like this. Very handy for posting up the graphics um, on site as well as making it easy for everyone involved to know what you, what is going to happen with that QR code, what it's related to. And, and you know, a, a QR code is just another way of rendering a URL. It is the same thing, just in different visual format. Okay, so um, what we want to do here is um, with the City of Houston's uh, Public Art Collection, at the bottom of each object's page, we're putting the QR code so that um, viewers can show, can just hold their phone up to their, to a friend or whomever and um, scroll down and show the friend the um, QR code and then they can scan it themselves just by shining their uh, cell phone camera on it. Okay, so the one we're going to work on now is um, Mel Chin's Seven Wonder. Okay, so there is his. Okay, and I'm going to show you where we're going to put um, this out of the way. All right, so this is the, uh, we call this part the builder. This is the back end builder for this, um, for this object. Okay, down here at the bottom is where we're going to have this QR code. So the first thing we need to do is create that middle part. You remember that little image that was in the middle? So the way we do that is we're starting with <coughs> another um, image. Okay, so we're using the, the square image of the, of the artwork um, that's on the menu. And that way it's very simple for the, um, for the user to figure out, okay, this is the same artwork I'm, I'm looking at. All right, so we have this. Now we're going to duplicate that. Sorry, my computer's a little bit slow. But we're going to duplicate this file. Then I'm going to save it as the same name, just with the word logo on there. And then um, we're going to use a software called a QR Monkey to, hang on one second, I'll just pause it while it finishes up. Okay, so we want to duplicate. Uh, the file, and we're going to change the name. Okay, so let's call this one, um, let's call, let's just put logo We're here where it says file, copy. Okay, so here's our duplicated file with a new name that's logo. Okay, so now, um, let me just pull this over onto tutorial. Okay, so now um, we are going to turn this into our logo by adding the text at the bottom. Okay, so you just click here. Okay, so now we're going to add the text. All right, so you just click here. And I have the text already set at um, 32 Helvetica 32. Okay, so we are going to let's reduce the file size on this. Okay, so um, we're going to add our text, and then the way that we're going to do this. Oh, well, let's you see how we have the background showing through. Let's change that because it's a little confusing. Okay, so now the city, the naming convention is the name of the artist and then the name of the object. Okay, so let's put Mel, oops. Okay, his name is Mel Chin. Dash, let's do a return. And then on the second row, we're gonna put the name and it's called Seven Wonders. Okay, so now, and let's make this nice and wide. Okay, and actually we can go bigger on the file on the on the font size. Okay, so we're only taking up about the lower third of the block, but let's fill it up so that you know it makes it as easy as possible to read. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to save that. That looks nice. And we'll close that up. So now we're ready to go into our QR monkey, but we actually have one more thing we need to do. Okay, we're here. This is the builder. Um, I also have open, this is the live app. Of course, it's on the computer, but, um, you know, the, it looks a little funny, uh, but, you know, because it's intended to go on I and mean, to be used on cell phones, but it certainly functions perfectly well on the computer. So that's very handy for us. Okay. So we are going to open up seven wonders. So here it is. 
grab the QR, I mean, sorry, the URL at the top. Okay, so I'm just doing a copy. Now, um, this is the QR code monkey. This is an app that you need to um, open up. You just go to qrcodemonkey.com. You don't have to buy a subscription or anything like that. Okay, up here, go to content. So first thing you want to do is get rid of whatever you had going before. Okay, so now it's all blank. I'm pasting in. This is the URL for the um, Melchins Seven Wonders. Now we're going to add a logo. See, this is left over from when I did the dandelion one. Okay, so upload our image. So we're going to find this um, logo that we created. Okay, so I found it's kind of easy if I, um, let's see, we can even put square logo, find it kind of quickly. And we'll select that and pop it in there. Okay, so that's it. And then, okay, this, I have previously slid this all the way over to high quality. When you open it for the first time, it'll be in the middle. So just, I recommend sliding it over there. You want to hit Q, create the QR. There it is. Um, and then also you want to create a, um, a um, PDR because, a PDF, sorry, because when you go to print graphics that will go on site, you want a very high quality file. Okay, so, um, QR code monkey automatically puts the files into the um, download. Okay, so what we want to do is go ahead and change those file names so that it doesn't get um, confusing for us. Okay, so I'm going to copy these over here. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, so this will be easier. I'm going to um, change the file name right here, and we're going to call it, okay, but it's no longer the um, logo. This is now our customized QR for Chin 7 Wonders. We actually don't need this part in there. Okay, um, and enter, and okay, and this is the PNG file, so let's also change that file name. Okay, and we don't need that part either. Okay, alrighty. Now we are ready to bring that um, new image into our app. So we go up here to widgets, and we're going to add an image. Remember, it's always going to put whatever new um, widget you add at the very bottom. Okay, so let's find it in our downloads. Oh, <laughs> not that. Okay. And then we're going to save it. It's going to show up down here. Okay. And then after we do that, remember the last thing you need to do is republish it. You can publish it to your test server. You can publish it to... Um, to your live app. So since we already have that live app open, let's go ahead and just look at it real quick and make sure it's there. Okay, so now it has uh, published. You can always tell because it has this nice green banner at the bottom. Okay, so actually all you have to do is really just refresh your screen and it will repopulate. And there it is. Very good. So you can hold your phone up to it and make sure you just shine your phone camera at it. You don't have to even, um, you know, press that. Okay, good. Just checked it and it does work. Um, you just shine your, your phone camera. You don't press the button as though you're taking a picture. But as soon as the image comes in focus on your phone, it will, um, your phone will automatically present you the, um, the link to open the app that's connected to that URL. So I hope that you find that um, helpful. And if you need any help, just always go to actusaudio.com, A-C-T-U-S-A-U-D-I-O.com. This is Sheila Mayfield, and I hope that you share all your content with all your viewers. Thanks so much. Bye.